So hi, my name is Elina Drakvik and I'm working at Citra, the Finnish Innovation Fund and in the Health Data 2030 project. So I'm working on promoting the secondary use of health data and how that can be used for boosting research, innovation and policy making and also enabling in that way better health for all. I think with the EHDS is that it is really uh, a legislative proposal uh, and the negotiations are still ongoing so it is a moving target. It is also emerging practice so we don't really know yet how it will turn out in the end. Uh, but the main aim is to create these common rules for enabling better use of, of knowledge and data uh, to boost research, innovation and policy making and also for the educational purposes and statistical purposes. Uh, and what we see uh, with the EHDS uh, and what it can enable in the future through this uh, harnessing of the power of the data to enable uh, promoting faster and novel access to, to discovering um, new drugs, but also personalized treatments, um, more improved or better healthcare interventions, as well as uh, more targeted prevention measures. So I think that is sort of the key uh, when we are looking at what the EHDS can bring and how the citizens can benefit from that. Well, the EHDS will enable for researchers a faster access for data through these health data access bodies that will be then granting the permits uh, so that it will simplify the process for, for the researchers for getting the data. Uh, and this can, of course, then bring societal benefits because this faster access to data can also then promote uh, discovering novel treatments, access to medicines and also better interventions at healthcare, but also prevention measures. If we think about the healthcare today, uh, only 3% of the healthcare data is actually being used for generating novel insights. So there's a lot of uh, unused data lying around and we should be able to sort of tap on this potential because it has really tremendous um, benefits when we think about um, making the novel treatments available and the novel drug discoveries and so forth. Uh, if we think about, for example, the developments in the AI field, uh, the data is the new code. So we have to pay more attention to the quality of the data, but also access to the data and, and the fair, fair uh, sort of uh, properties uh, that we can promote for research and innovation. <laughs>